Ciao a tutti and welcome back to my channel. Today we are traveling to the beautiful island of Sardinia. The dish I'm going to show you is squid ink fregola, a typical Sardinian pasta and a hearty cuttlefish ragu made with the best ingredients the land and the sea can offer. As always, make sure to like, comment and subscribe to my channel to explore Italy through its regional recipes. The dish can be ready in less than an hour, so to speed up the process I'm going to prepare everything in advance. And now, let's begin! First, let's cut in half 500 grams of red and orange cherry tomatoes that will give some texture to the sauce. Next, let's thinly chop this beautiful pink onion. To do so, cut it in half without completely removing the stem. Start by making cuts lengthwise, like so. Then make two cuts across and finely chop. Remember to use as much of the onion as possible. Now it's time for the parsley. Grab the sprig by the stem with one hand and gently push the leaves down with the knife. This way your parsley will stay fresh longer. Also remember to store it in the fridge rolled in a humid paper towel. Finally chop the parsley by always regrouping the leaves behind your knife. To continue chopping thinner, place your guiding hand on the tip of the knife without grabbing it. That could cause an injury if the blade were to slip. Keep your hand straight and you will be fine. Now for the star of the show, nice little cuttlefish. As you can see I asked my fishmonger to clean them already by removing the outer skin, the cuttle bone inside and the eyes and beak. This is about 600 grams. Say hi Squidward! We are going to separate the head from the tentacles, which will be used separately as a crispy topping. Once this is done, let's chop everything up for the sauce. Now that everything is ready, let's go to the stove. Prepare a non-stick skillet on the stove. In the meantime, I've already put some lightly salted water on a slow simmer. Start by adding a generous amount of extra virgin olive oil and start softening the pink onion. Now add one crushed garlic clove. Add one pinch of salt, but not too much, as the cuttlefish is already salted. Now in go the cherry tomatoes. Stir everything together and add one glass of white wine to deglaze the pan and let the alcohol evaporate. After 5 minutes you can go on and add the cuttlefish to the pan. Remember only the head. Look how beautiful this is. The smell brings you to the beach and the sauce is already forming. To add a little body to this ragu, add one can of crushed tomatoes and don't forget to rinse it to get the, all the flavors. I'm going to transfer this in a larger pot simply because I don't have a lid for this pan. Before closing the pot and let the sauce cook, add a couple of spoons of Tajasca pitted olives and some chopped parsley. Combine everything together, put the lid on and let simmer on medium heat for about 15 to 20 minutes. In case that you have never seen fregola before, this is it. In this case it's squid ink fregola, which makes it particularly good with seafood preparations. The last step is to prepare the small tentacles in order to fry them. To do so, nothing easier. Season some flour with salt and toss in the cuttlefish. Mix everything together and with the help of a sieve, remove the excess flour and there you have it. They are ready for the oil. I have already prepared my frying oil and the oil is boiling. Toss in 250 grams of fregola and cook for at least 15 minutes. 
Once ready, transfer it into a bowl and heat it with olive oil and toss again. Now set this aside for a moment, just enough time to fry my tentacles. Listen to this beautiful sound. Prepare a paper towel and toss in the cuttlefish once golden. Heat it with salt as soon as it comes out of the fryer. It's very important. Now we're ready for the last step. Combine this gorgeous cuttlefish ragu with the fregola, mix everything up and let's plate. This kinda looks like a risotto so I'm plating it in a flat dish. Remember to tap the bottom of it with your hand to spread evenly. Now a touch of parsley and let's not forget the super crispy tentacles to garnish this incredible dish. How love how beautiful and unusual this dish is. I am sure that you don't see this every day and it's one of the goals of this channel really. Perfecto. I'm ready to give it a try. Hmm. It's a very balanced dish. You have the bitterness from the olives, the salt from the cuttlefish and a lot of fun, fun textures like this fried garnish. Mm. Delicious. While I go on and finish this, leave a comment down below and tell me if you enjoyed my video and if it's the first time you have ever seen this kind of pasta. I'll see you next time. Ciao! Thanks again for watching this video. As always, hit the subscribe button if you liked what you saw and support me and my mission to spread regional Italian recipes everywhere. Ciao e alla prossima ricetta!